Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about first PUC midterm model question paper. Before that, those who are watching my videos first time, do subscribe and like the videos and do share the videos with your friends. And also join my Telegram channel. I will put that link in my description box of this video. Dear students. Today I am going to discuss about physics midterm model question paper. Okay, it is applicable for all districts. Okay, here the midterm question paper includes several sections: Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. And total allotted marks is seventy mark, and duration is three hour. Okay. And here, part A section includes fifteen questions. Okay, each question carries one mark. Total fifteen mark. And in part A, second main is there. Okay, here. fill in the blank type questions there are five questions each question carries one mark total five mark and for making you confusion here one extra option is given in answers bracket okay one extra option is there that is the wrong option you have to while answering you have to choose the correct answer and Okay, this completes part A. In part A, total two mains: main one MCQ type question, main two fill in the blank type question, and uh, next I will move to the part B. Here, this is the part B section. This section belongs two mark type questions. Means you are going to get only two mark type questions in this part. And here, each question carries two mark. We have to answer for five question. Point to ten. Okay. Here, they are given three extra questions. Means we have to answer any five plus three. Okay, extra questions. Out of eight, we have to answer any five questions in this main. Okay. Next, I will move to the part C. Here, part C belongs to three mark type questions. Here also there are eight questions. There are eight questions. Out of eight, you have to answer any five. Each question carries three mark. Three into five, fifteen. Okay. And uh, next main is part D. Part D belongs to five mark type questions. Here total there are five questions are there. Out of five, you have to answer any three questions. This is a fifth main that includes derivation type questions. Means we have to derive the answers for particular questions. Each question carries five mark. Five into three, total fifteen. Total fifteen mark. Means two extra questions are there here. Okay. Next sixth main here. Sixth main means this is also part D main, and this main belongs to problem section. You will get only problems in this section. Okay. Here there are mainly four questions are there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, four questions are there. Out of four, you have to answer any two. And Each question carries five mark, five into two, ten. Okay, total ten mark. Okay, this completes the last question, last main as well as last question. Six main is the last main and forty sixth question. Okay, forty five. Yes, forty five number is the last question 
in the mid third and one more thing is you have to keep it in your mind that is the whole mid term syllabus belongs to part a physics syllabus part a means your total syllabus includes 120 teaching hours in that the first 60 hours the first 60 hours considered as a part a syllabus that is a part a syllabus okay. you have to read the serial format 60 hours okay that syllabus includes your mid term question paper okay and all over district all over state the same pattern is there but for first pvc the question paper will be prepared by the respective district boards means ddpu office from that office you are going to get a question paper here the first pvc exams are conducted by district wise that's why every district has a different question paper there uh, there is no need to compare your question paper to another question paper why because the questions are different district to district okay okay uh, wish you all the best for your upcoming midterm exam thank you